Hello, my name is Rafferman, and welcome to Animal Crossing. I finally got my capture device, so now we can actually play games on the Switch. It's exciting. The little island in the lower right hand corner. It's kind of cute. Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Timmy, good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? I just be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your des for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday. Hey. Well, we're gonna go with the usual. Or... Oh, oh. O. P. H. N. O. M. <clears throat> yes. Birthday is July thirteenth. Uh huh. Ah. Let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Ruffalo. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are? Uh, there's a kind of creepy echo thingy going on here. <laughs> mm. Mm. I have a little bit of colors. Oh, maybe that one. Um, I don't really have a whole heck of a lot of hair, so actually, I, I, my hair is kind of getting long. Look at that eyeballs. The top seems to be the female and the bottom the male. <laughs> we'll go with this one. It looks a little crazy. I like the tooth. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We don't need any blush or nothing. Wait a second. My hair color's not right. Hair. Hair color. Ooh. Kind of like that color. Although my hair is kind of turning more this color <laughs> nowadays. But we'll go with the brown. Great. You're all set. All set. I'll just. 
I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can e even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. But the, what I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Rothnam, where do you live now? Live now? Uh, North America? Ah, oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Um, sure. Very good. We have a number of lovely inha uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. Hmm. Uh, hmm. We want... They're, they're naturally square. Um. I like this one. Wonderful choice, Joyce. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Um. Food. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Uh, your chartered flight to the version of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Oh, perfect timing. Come on, let's all go on the plane together. Together. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of North Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> that is one giant bug. Got a stick. <laughs> I got a stick. Fishing, catching bugs, making snow balls, watering flowers, and stargazing, shooting star. Okay. A Nook Inc. production. My understanding is that Tom Nook the guy who's in charge of, you know, the development of your island, um, 
is evil. So therefore, his henchmen must be evil and crazy. And there's the plane. We're getting ready to land. I don't like flying, and I don't like big boats in the ocean, so... We're here. Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. Uh, who are you? Uh, who, who are you two? I say stick. I want, I want, I want a stick. Uh, okay, I don't get a stick. What am I wearing? Um, interesting. <laughs> interesting indeed. Um, hello? All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Canberra here? Uh -huh. And how about Leonardo? And there's Rothdom, of course. Great, we're all here. And I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome everyone, welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life in this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes, I'd like to, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. I feel like if Tom Nook really is evil, he'd have that kind of calm, trust me, I know what I'm talking about, kind of, kind of voice and, you know, He'd be deceptive and all. Excuse me, I highly recommend picking up your tent from either Timmy or Tommy first. With a very distinguished voice. There you go, Ruffin. Your very own tent. That looks like a sleeping bag. Are you sure this is a tent? Once you find a perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding the space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Wouldn't want you to get lost. And, uh, we might not be able to find you, and we may uh, or not, we may be too late, and then we may just have to use you for other things other than just cleaning up the island, like food. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, uh, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Uh, thank you. Uh, th thank you very much. I'm, I'm gonna go look now. I want, I want six. Can I go across the water? No. Press X. 
X, okay. <laughs> the look on his face. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hello? Oh, Leonardo. Hello, I'm Leonardo. You're off the ride. Nice to meet you, Flexin. So, find a good place for a dance? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul. Flexin. Now, I'd probably change his voice. He sounds like a, a workout nut. Just the way he's talking. So, I'll probably end up changing his voice down the road. I gotta find a good one for him. Let's see. Where is Koala Bear? Amber. Killer. Wait. I, I got it. Don't tell me. Oh, uh, you're rough them, right? See, told you I had it. I'm Canberra. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. <laughs> Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's pre a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Okay. Ooh, this is a nice little clearing. <laughs> Here, get some water. Got the trees, got some water. Build here. Um, let me imagine it. That sure did look like a good spot right there. That, 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 that'll work right there. That, right there. That, that works. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I set up my tent. That's a big first step. <laughs> what do I do now? Um, um. Hmm. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot. But I was having trouble because every spot just feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over for forever. So I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. Now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw the stick. But I'm liking this. I'll find your spot. Oh, for real? You're gonna pick out of the perfect spot for me? You do that for someone you just met? You know you're all right, Rafa. I'm gonna cry. In that case, here you go. It's your show now. <laughs> okay. I got this. You just sit. You just wait right here. I'll find you a real nice spot. Don't worry. Um. It, I'll, I'll try not to put it in the ocean. Uh, you might go in the river, though. Because it's supposed to be my island. I don't like neighbors. I'm going to wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? I don't know about his voice. You know what? I think he had a good spot. Let's Let's just stick it right here. Right there. Oh, I didn't want to imagine it. They never. Oh. Hey, I like his tent more than mine. I want his tent. All right. We, 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 the can bear has got a place for her tent now. That's a her. Well, I guess I need to change her voice. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize it was a her. All right, Leonardo. Oh. oh, excuse me. Okay, Leonardo, let's see where you want your tent. Let me get your foot right here. You already set up your... Oh, you already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio. 
So let's go have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Rothman? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay, then. How about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... Pretty cool, right? Looks great. Looks great! Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back. Flexing! Flexing! <laughs> that was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Don't tell me you already helped Canberra too. You're like... Like... A true champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm going to reward you for this once and I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza of flexing. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our team. Let's see. Timmy, Canberry, Tommy, and Leonardo can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Rothman and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Rothman, would you come with me for a moment? Uh, no. I don't trust you. I don't, no, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Excuse me, I want to make sure you get off to a great start. So would you mind take, talking to me first? I don't want to. You scare me. Ah, rough. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So... When you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. Hmm. Okay. You, you got a mouse. I'm all over it. All over it. It's got two. And there's three. And there's four. Uh... Ooh, I can pull, I can pull the weeds right now. I'm pull these weeds out of the ground, cause we don't want weeds. Got to clean up the right my yard. I want my yard to look all nice and pretty and clean, so that way when my girlfriend comes over, I, well, I don't have a girlfriend yet, but once I get a girlfriend, I'll, I'll have a nice, clean, and tidy place for her to come visit me. She's gonna be so pretty. She's gonna have a bug too, just like me, and and some some big beautiful brown eyes and some hair. I don't care what I don't care where the hair is, just as long as she got some. Just needs a little bit of hair. Um, she gonna be so pretty. I don't remember how many sticks I have. Uh, I got lots of weeds though. Lots and lots of weeds. It's picking up everything. Lots of weeds. 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 I got weeds. I will make sure I clean up this island real good. Because we want it to look nice. And pretty. Okay, I should probably go get the sticks that I need. <laughs> I'm having too much fun picking up all... I have 67 weeds already. <laughs> oh, 
Oh lord, I'm gonna go for a hundred. <laughs> we're gonna get a hundred weeds, and and then we're gonna be all get at seven sticks. But we need to get a hundred weeds. And uh, well, butterfly, 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 but uh, but butterfly, but 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 butterfly, but butterfly. I want, I want the butterfly. Give me, give me the butterfly. Oh, the way he runs. So <laughs> it's so freaking cute. <laughs> this here island is my home. And eventually, I'm going to build a house and uh, have an office building. And I'm going to make a make the office building my, my recording studio. And I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And it's going to be great. And you're gonna be me, cause, cause eventually everybody else on this island is just gonna die. Cause I'm gonna take all their food and the water, and all I have to drink is the, the nasty salt water out here. And ooh, there's some other stuff out here: seashells, some 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 coral. We're getting lots of stuff. Hey, what am I? Nah, nah. nah. Oh, oh, no, I'm over. I made 104. Eight sticks, and I need two more sticks. Two more sticks. There's another one. And there's another one. And there's another one. And there's another one. <laughs> he just looks like that kind of character that would get lost to and all this stuff. I picked up a rock. I found my pet rock. <laughs> I got, I got myself around. I'm gonna name it Alan, and Alan is gonna be my bestest best friend, and be Rock Alan. Alan Rock, Rock, rock Alan. We'll, we'll, we'll go with Rock Alan. I like Rock Alan. Rock Alan sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Get a few more sticks here. And I think we're good. Alright, we're gonna turn these things in. <gasps> oh, good, good, Raftum. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what you need off... I'll take what we need off your hands now. There you go. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard working. <laughs> and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like cherries. They smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine cherries. So, will you collect six of them for me? Now, I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a tree growing cherries, you can press A to shake it. Then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of cherries for us all in no time. Um, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, shake it, shake it. And a cherry. And another cherry. And another cherry. And I think I saw cherries over here. Yep, 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 cherry. And another cherry. And another cherry. And, uh, and another rock. I like rocks. Rocks are cool. And some more cherries. Cherry and cherry and, and, and cherry and cherry and cherry and cherry. I'm gonna get all the cherries so there's no food for anybody else. Oh yeah. Let's see here. There's another cherry tree right here. Some more cherries and cherry and cherry. Ooh, some more cherries here. And there's some cherries. And some more cherries. And some more cherries. You know what? This person over here is 
Yeah, it looks like they want to with something. Lane, you found enough cherries for everyone. Please talk to Mr. Nook. Um, okay. It looked like you wanted to talk to me. You sitting, you thinking awful hard over there, sir. So I, I thought I thought you might have something different to say other than telling me to do your boss's bidding. But you know, okay. Sounds good. Some more cherry. And some more weeds as well. I want to catch some butterflies. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. Run around catching butterflies. <laughs> and cherry. And cherry. And cherry. And cheese, my cherry pie. There's a cricket. There's a grasshopper. I'm a grass. Or are you cricket? Cricket, 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 cricket. Come here, cricket. Big gum cricket. Come back here. Come here, cricket. Where did you go? There you are. Cricket, cricket. Big. Big never. I want to catch the cricket. Oh, well. Uh, here you go, Mr. Nook. I found the cherries. Oh, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those cherries off your hands and get started on the preparations. Here you go. Only six, right? Okay. I think we're good. Long as you only took six. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Um, uh, when did we get clavers? At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors of over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen, and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm? Oh, now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm. But what should we call it? A... Eh. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. So, basically, Tom Nook is going to have us choose names, and then we'll pick them out, and he's going to say that it was his idea... He gets all the credit and all that stuff. I don't like it. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local and online play, so pick an appropriate name. Hmm. What should we call this? <laughs> should call it I Can't Drown Island. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. It's too long. Let's see. We'll call it Squirrel. Squirrel Katir Island. It's 
So we'll go ahead and call this Squirrel of Tear Island. In honor of Mr. Shakezilla, Fan of Wolf Gaming. Wrong way. Q U I R R E L. Games with Diddy and myself. We are the Squirrel Coteers. So there we are. It's going to be Squirrel. Because. Oh. Heck, damn it. I could have put in Coteers. Oh. What splendid variety. Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now, for the voting, I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Rothnum seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Rothnum suggested... Squirrel. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Squirrel. And... Splendid. Then, from now on, this island will be known as Squirrel. Um... I may go back and restart and change it, but, uh, I may not. Nah, we'll just stick with it. Since you've proven yourself by naming Squirrel, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island that I will be taking credit for, and you will get nothing in return. I will get all the financial uh, gain, and you will get to live here and work for me. Yes, yes. I hereby name you the resident representative of Square. Rafnum, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Well, I just want to say uh, a word or two. That seems like something I would do. Hmm, so, we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Um, but I don't drink few few drinks. I only drink whiskey. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from cherries our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast. To squirrel and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Okay. Um, we are going to... You can't save right now. Okay. Um... Ah, rough. I'm having a good time, yes? I know it's all a bit much. So if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. Uh, a leaf? Wait, I get a leaf and that's my camping cow? It's... It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting for your... waiting in your tent as well. Hmm. Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes. That's all for... That's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Rafnum. You will be my slave soon. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, that's right. I parked my tent over here. I'm gonna go take a, 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 a nap poo and go to sleep. And, 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 and yeah. I wake up in the morning, 
and be all nice and refreshed and feel good. Yeah. Ooh. Here's a package. Oof. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna move I'm gonna move you too. Alright. Let's start with the camping cow place item. Yeah, right there. Hello. Fish my head for a little while. Put it right here. The, the lantern. All right, there we go. All right, now. All right, now we're, we're, we're good to go and we can rest our little head. I'm getting sleepy. Sleepy time. It's a puppy. So, looks like you're, you've you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way... That's all the way right, that yo. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there... It's a great feeling, yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way, rambling this crazy world as Squaresville without some pile. Yeah, man, friends are what where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself, my bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, well, listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig the sound of life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. That's your see. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. You wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life. I'll catch you later. Uh, okay, uh, uh, thanks for your input there, but can you be my friend? I was wanting a dog as a friend. I want, I want a dog. Russell, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Uh, can we save now? Uh, you can't save right now. Why can I not save? I want to save. It won't let me save. Ah, oh, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept very long. <laughs> yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major new life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Uh, a cell phone? It's your home, it's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Uh, how do I do that? Oh, uh, okay, there you go. It's on now. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Um, can I save now? Say, Rufflin, have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, sure, hell. I, I, I talked to this one 
lady. She was real smart on the phone. But nope, neighbor. Is that so? How wonderful for you, I dare say. You seem especially well suited for life on this rustic island. Nevertheless, I believe you'll find this nook phone quite handy. So do take the time to learn how to use it. I have one more thing for you. Um. But. It's your itemized bill. Uh, what? I, I don't understand. So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and, of course, your nook phone. Uh, I thought you said it was a gift. What, what if I don't want it? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Uh... The water bales. Oh, oh, good one, Rafa. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on the Squirrel. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. With a get getaway package, you can pay for your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. He is evil. He really is. He's given me stuff, saying, here, this is for you. And then he's charging me for it after he's given it to me. With the Nook Mileage program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Squirrel. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Well, how much is registering going to cost me? If, if that's the case, I'd rather just find a way to make bells, because I don't need to be incurring any more debt to you. Yes, yes. But there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app, and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Squirm and a client of Nook Inc. Uh, yay! My lose life is underway. I can do whatever I want. I'm excited. I can do whatever I want. From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the auto save indicator in the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your game. Okay, I can save now. Oh, auto save. Z. Take pictures using fingers, filters, and effects. Oh, okay.
<laughs> Nothing like catching somebody when they're blinking. <laughs> Nook Miles. You're enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Okay. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Okay. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook shop and the resident services center. Okay. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles. Okay. Uh, 500 miles. All right, cool. Um, oh. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. Nope. There's, there's more. Island Shutterbug. I took a picture. And okay. I've got 800 custom designs. With this app, you can create custom designs to wear on clothing or display around the app. Okay. When you save custom designs to the app, you can share them with other island residents. Okay. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during network play sessions. When you visit another island, for example. Okay. Please don't create anything that infringes on other rats. Don't use private information, yours or any el anyone else's, or offensive words or images. Okay. All right, we'll play with that later. What else we got? Another map? Check the map for your current location. Services Airport. Okay, that's that's pretty easy. Your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players. Um, comment. Howdy. Hey, that is not what I was trying to do. H O W D Y space D O O D Wow. Sure. Howdy doody. Title. Um, pocket. Festive No Animal 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 That is my title Yes Okay Rescue service Use a service for an emergency situation on the island When your path is blocked and you're stuck be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Look, miles are generally required to use the service. Okay. Uh, no. No. I'm not, I'm not lost. Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a presence to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates. What's the present? Okay. Dear Ralph, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. 
Yes, I am. And we are going to end this one here. Oh. Oh. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is going to be an extremely fun game to play. This I can already tell this is going to be awesome. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this because I sure as hell am. It's cute. It's funny. And uh, it's going to be great. And um, Galaxy wants to play this as well. So we'll probably jump in to the game um, in the future. And she'll have done some stuff. Because um, we sh everybody in the same household that uses the same Switch shares the same island. They use different characters, but they share the same island. So um, next time that we come in, if she's played, we might see some new stuff that we that we did not do. Um, so that could be really cool, and really fun, and really awkward. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. Because when you ring that bell, you'll get notifications for every time I post new videos, which I do daily. I will see you guys next time. Until then, keep your heads up and keep moving forward. This is Rothnam, signing off.